Servant, episode six, espresso. I'm Joe, please subscribe to this channel. I am drinking some Snoop Dogg red wine out of a regular glass. Um, I'm sure Sean and Julian would be very upset with me. But then again, they'd probably look at me like it's a complete waste of life anyway. They're so snotty. What can I say? Another outstanding, outstanding episode of Servant. The highlight of this episode to me was that you had all these different people in one house and they were all speaking different languages. Julian and Sean are speaking one language. They're speaking a language of they think they're trying to buy a baby back. Eh, a baby that's not theirs. And they're trying to get it back. They're trying to buy it back for Dorothy. And even Julia and Sean aren't speaking the same language because I think Sean's starting to believe a little bit of the craziness. Sort of maybe to getting an inclination that there wasn't an actual other baby, that maybe this was a miracle. And I think Sean's sort of leaning towards that and Julian's not. They're sort of almost speaking the same language, but they're not. Then you have Dorothy. Dorothy is so committed to her own media that she's doing torture to get her son back. Denial about the fact that her son is dead, not understanding what the real situation is. Speaking a different language. Then you have Leanne. Leanne is the one who holds all the keys. Did she bring another baby? Did she bring the baby back from life? Why was she at that house? The Marino house. Why is she running from this cult? Why does she not want to be around this cult? And then we have the person speaking the best language of all, Uncle George. <laughs> Uncle George is speaking a language that he really feels that Leanne's presence is a blight on this house and she should be where she should be, which was back at the other house with the dying lady. And he is outstandingly wild throughout the entire episode. And he has his beliefs and he probably also knows what Leanne did, but at the same time, Leanne's trying to get away from that. So everybody thinks something different. Everybody sees something different. There's so many different perspectives happening. And that's what makes this episode so cool, so nuanced. The interactions with Uncle George, outstanding. Uh, what happened this episode was just Uncle George is in the house and you know, he thinks that Leanne needs to go back to the other house, the, the big mansion where the dying lady is. Sean says, let's get her out of the house because he promised to heal me if I get her out of the house. And Dorothy is trying to negotiate with crazy Uncle George. Anyway, Uncle George is insistent that she go back to that other house, insistent that it's a problem, insistent that they've done something awful, insistent that the wrath of God is coming upon them. And at the end of the episode, when Sean is about to take Leanne out, away from everyone, not even back to that house. The news comes on and there's a shooting at the Marino house. And we don't know the body count and we don't know who did what, but they're all watching the TV, Sean and Leanne and then Julian and then Dorothy. They're all watching the TV in shock and horror, realizing that something is happening at that house. And the uncle comes and says, look what you have done. End of episode. <laughs> what the hell happens at that house? Now I knew that family was gonna come back into it. I knew that house was gonna come back to into it. You, you could tell it was gonna come back into it. Did I know that there was gonna happen like that? That there was gonna be a shooting at the house and that they were gonna blame Leanne's lack of presence there on the shooting? No. Uncle George went from sort of being this menacing, menacing tough guy who was a little odd and quiet the first time we saw him to this rambling, like simpering weakling who's like, oh, for them, they do not know what they do. Or he's like praying, pray with me, Dorothy. And he goes like this. Um, and then when Dorothy reveals what she did, He's just like, you know, you, you've you ruined everything. This is all your fault. You'll never get Jericho back now. Sean um, had sort of the B story throughout the whole thing of his own blame. And that was when Sean and Uncle George were talking. And Uncle George says, you know who we are. You see us on street corners. We were people who were given a second chance at life. And now, I don't know, uh, Sean's about to say, that mean you're effing and angels brought back from life. Angels maybe. We don't know. Uncle George says, you're going to have to learn to forgive yourself. And he's like, forgive myself for what? He's like, you know that too. And then we had the flashback. 
And this is why the episode was called Espresso, because we have a flashback to Sean getting his espresso machine. He's so excited for his espresso machine while Dorothy's upstairs trying to calm down the, the colicky baby. He gets a call about that chef show he went off on when Dorothy, you know, fried the baby in the car. First, he says he's not going to do it. Then the second flashback, he actually calls back and says, nah, I can do it. He decided to do it. He was decided to leave his wife. And why? He was coveting an espresso machine. He had a bad new baby and he always cares about his espresso machine. All he cared about was getting away. That's why he harbors such guilt. He should never have left. He deliberately tried to get away from the situation and that's what he's rethinking. Uncle George says to Dorothy, you have to own your part in this as well. So let's see if that meant what she did with digging her into the ditch, or is that with what happened with the actual real Jericho? Julian was great again in this episode. Uh, I've only gotten into two fist fights in my life and both were from Dorothy. God knows why he's so loyal to her. <laughs> um, and then after he has this whole thing where he freaks out at them and says some Bible verse, a bunch of roaches started coming out from the, the holes. Outstanding episode. Leanne was great in this episode, the part where she says, like, how was your evening, Mrs. Turner? Awesome. Everything was awesome. And where we're going from here, I don't know. But I gotta tell you, this show's great, and we have seven, eight, nine, ten. We have four more episodes to go. I wonder how long those episodes are gonna progress over a day, an evening. I don't know. But this show's outstanding. The season's great. And I hope you enjoy these videos. Please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Joe.